Hello from another dining room on another day. We have been spending time with Nick's family for the past over a week, I'd say, and days. having an amazing time. But sadly, we are on our last full day in England before we fly out and begin our epic adventure. Before we move on with the rest of the video, then we just wanted to take some time to announce that we are now officially over a hundred subscribers on our channel. That might not seem like a massive amount in comparison to a lot of other YouTubers out there, but it is a huge deal to us. So thank you very much to everybody for their support so far. We would love to continue to bring you really enjoyable content and if you like it continue to like subscribe share spread the word about everything that we're doing here especially as we get into our very exciting adventure so as i mentioned we've been having an awesome time with our friends and family and we've kind of wanted to keep it sacred and special just to really get good quality time in so we've been taking some video clips here and there but we haven't really been vlogging it However, we do want to share with you what we've been up to the last two and a half weeks in England. With that, then we're going to talk you through everything that we've gotten up to during our time in England. We haven't done a huge amount of filming purely because we wanted to um, really enjoy the time with our friends and family, but we're going to spend this video catching you up on everything that we've done, just so that you know what we've got up to. So let's get started. <laughs> As you know, we stayed with my family first. We stay with my aunt and uncle. And on the day we arrived, my aunt arranged a tea with half of my family. So it was my grandfather's side of the family we had over, and that included many cousins and my aunt made an incredible spread. She used to be a caterer, so the food is always incredible. She made scones with clotted cream and jam. We had finger sandwiches that were tuna mayo. Some kind of brownie shortbread. It we was amazing. Yeah. We were very full. And it was just so nice to be able to catch up with all of my cousins who I hadn't seen since I think Christmas 2021. I have a large family, which is why it was just half of the family, my grandfather's side. But yeah, it was a really nice time to start our trip off in England. The next day we caught up with one of my friends. He is somebody that I lived with during university. Uh, we got on very, very well, and when we then went on our kind of years abroad during our courses, then we also caught up in continental Europe as well. So we go some way back, uh, but this was the first time that we'd actually been able to catch up in person for several years because I've only been able to see him once since I moved to Canada before that point. We went to a wonderful Sri Lankan restaurant called Hoppers. Uh, did amazing food, which makes us very excited for our Sri Lankan leg of our trip. And yeah, a lovely time to be spent with Rob, his partner Jen. Very nice evening well spent just off of Oxford Street. And it was so nice to meet them because I'd never met them before. Exactly. It had only been a Zoom call before that point, right? So, mm -hmm. so yeah. No. But we highly recommend that restaurant. Yes. It was kind of good. like Sri Lankan tapas, where you can order a bunch of dishes and share them. And it was just ideal, really. It made our bellies very happy. It did. It did. And that was one of many wonderful restaurant experiences that we had while we were in London. Yeah, I think the theme of this is that we ate our way through London because the following day we met for lunch with my friend Nicole and I actually went to high school with her in Canada and she moved over to Europe to go to dental school and since then her and her husband and her two kids have settled here and so whenever Nick and I come over we try to get together although I think actually this was the first time you met Nicole. Definitely, yeah, yeah. Anyway, we went to this French cafe called Aubaine. Am I saying that correctly? I want to say yes. Okay. 
maybe enough. saying it correctly. There are a few locations across London. And again, the food was amazing. We kind of had like a brunchy type lunch, but highly recommend checking that out. The atmosphere actually in all of the restaurants we're going to talk about in London was just really, really lovely. They all had something different to offer. Like Hopper's was a bit like dark and moody. This was very light and airy and exactly what you would think of like a French cafe, beautiful. Really enjoyed that as well. Mm -hmm. The next big experience was actually a treat by your uncle. He is part of a wine club called 67 Palmel. He decided to do a very generous thing and took us out to dinner in one of their like special private rooms, which was out of this world. Within the room, you had essentially floor to ceiling racks of very expensive looking wine. <laughs> and it was beautiful service. The food was out of this world. The wine that was selected was very carefully curated as well. And yeah, the whole thing was definitely kind of a once in a lifetime experience that I don't think we're going to replicate in many other places. Um, so it was a genuine treat because let's face it, with a place like that, we would like it's one of those very exclusive places. It looks quite expensive to be part of. Uh, so on a normal day, we would basically never set foot in there. But yeah, being treated to such a thing was a real gift. So thanks to your uncle Ian for that one. Thank you. Thank you. Next thing we did was... We had lunch, tea, coffee, cake etc with one of my friends from university in the Netherlands so I went to physio school there as some of you may know and there's a group of girls that I'm still pretty close to and one of them is originally from London and lives in London now and she works as a physio with a pretty big sports club and so we met up with her at a place called the folly I think the was. folly yeah and again okay so that atmosphere it is kind of um like secret garden Tell midsummer me. night's dreamy, dreamy kind of thing with plants hanging and just the style of decoration it's really beautiful in there as well the food was excellent again we just had a, a snack we had flat whites i think as well as we shared some chips and a dessert, all of which was fantastic. And we had a really nice time catching up. You, again, this was your first time meeting her because yeah. the last time we were here, she unfortunately got COVID, so we had to cancel our plans. But it was just nice to spend some quality time together because it had been a while and we're probably not going to see each other for a little bit yet, unless anyone decides to come along with us on our trip and meet us somewhere you never know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That was actually a really busy day for us because that evening we had a family dinner at my cousin's house. So this was the other side of the family, my grandmother's side. And my cousin put on such an incredible spread for us. So it was a Shabbat dinner. Up until meeting Rachel, I'd had very little exposure to uh, Jewish traditions and things like that. So it was really nice to be involved, to see what it was all about. And um, honestly, the food, the spread, my word, the spread, it was fantastic and included probably one of the nicest apple crumbles I've had in a long time. Oh my gosh, the apple crumble was to die for. They did a Toblerone cheesecake, which was out of this world. And all in all, just a very, very nice time getting to know that side of your family a little bit more as well. Yeah, clearly we just love dessert because that's what we've told you about initially. The main course was wonderful too. I think we had lamb mm -hmm. and we had their roasted vegetables, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Sure. I think, oh, and there was a rice yep. as well. There was an amazing salad too mm -hmm. that had some fruit and nuts in it. I think that's not everyone's cup of tea, but I love that. Yeah. We had soup to start. Like this was a three course meal. Mm -hmm. And again, it was really nice to catch up with everybody. A few of my cousins that were there had actually come to stay with us in November, I want to say. And then my cousin who was hosting it at her house, she had had a business trip, I think, in September, October. So we'd actually gone out to dinner with her then. So it hadn't been as long since I'd seen them, but it was lovely to catch up. And there were other people there who I hadn't seen in longer as well. So it was a nice time to uh, spend with the family. Absolutely. 
Speaking of family time, then that was the point where we got to see my folks. And so they actually came to pick us up from your aunt and uncle's place. It was the first time that they'd all met in person as well. So it was all very tastefully done. Your aunt definitely knows how to put on a spread. Um, she did another one. Yes, she did. And it was very filling, absolutely delicious as ever. So thank you, Alexa, for that. Yeah, she we did a brunch with Nick's family and she went absolutely wild. She did smoked salmon. They did like... <laughs> Oh, and she made a key lime pie. That was to die for. So we were full leaving London for sure. We certainly were. And so then began the stay with my parents. So it's been definitely not quite as full on um, in the same way. But um, we've definitely taken the opportunity to really stretch our legs, go on a lot of lovely walks, get a few additional little bits and pieces done, like getting a bit of currency for the onward journeys and things like that. So that's been lovely. At the same time, we've had a few opportunities to catch up with my brother and his partner and our little niece who turned two this week, which is very, very cute. And so happy second birthday, Sophie. Happy birthday, Sophie. We love you very much. The first time that we all got to catch up as a family, though, was actually for a very special occasion. 40 years ago, then, my parents got married, so this year is their anniversary. And so, as a means of celebrating that, then we decided to do something a bit special. Mm -hmm. So, that started off with staying at a beautiful hotel, which is built on, like, a very, very old estate. It's been converted into... A hotel, restaurant, wedding venue, all of that kind of stuff. And it, the hotel was gorgeous. The grounds were stunning and incredibly well kept. And yeah, it was a genuine treat. Really, really enjoyed that. Yeah, Nick's parents treated not only us, but also his brother and his brother's partner mm -hmm. and our niece to yeah. a night away and a beautiful dinner and breakfast at this manor house. Yes. So that was great. As a means of repaying the favour and also to commemorate the occasion, then we took them to an amazing, and I mean amazing, restaurant called Bluebells, uh, which is just outside of Ascot. And we were treated there to probably the best Sunday roast I think I've ever had, which, considering that I'm English, I don't say those sorts of things lightly. No, um, that's fair to say. It was very, very, very good. Yorkshire pudding's about the size of my face like they were this big it was like a little like chapeau that, yeah. on top of the actual rest of the roast meal it was huge yeah and delicious nothing i've ever seen and just amazing do you know you're onto a winner when the yorkshire pudding that comes with your roast could probably fit the rest of the roast in it mm -hmm. that's that's how big we're talking here and the quality of all the ingredients was so good, perfectly cooked, could not have been happier with any of that. Uh, but that wasn't all, because it was a set menu. Then we also got desserts. We ended up getting a blood orange flavoured cheesecake, uh, which came then with this Grand Marnier sorbet, and it's probably one of the best sorbets I've ever tried. It was very special indeed, but the real jewel in the crown, as far as it all went, was an after eight chocolate parfait. For any of you who's like, what's an after eight? I've no idea. <laughs> it's a specific brand of chocolate mints. So yeah, we are fans of mint with chocolate anyway. And honestly, the way that they've done this dessert was just spectacular. Yeah, it was phenomenal. Very, very good indeed. So definitely a good recommendation by my brother there. So good call, Johnny. And um, and yeah, that was then our treat to our folks and everybody else who was at the table. So definitely time well spent and probably one of the better meals uh, that I think I've had in my lifetime, really. Yeah, if you're in the area, highly recommend it. Mm -hmm. And also, happy 40th wedding anniversary, Sue and David. Happy 40th wedding anniversary, Mum and Dad. A few nights later, we went out to dinner with two of Nick's friends, and these friends are actually the ones who inspired 
when we were starting this big adventure because we were coming over for their wedding. So the timing of this is all because of them. Exactly. But because obviously when you are the main focus of a wedding, it generally means that you don't have time to interact with every single one of your guests. So because we hadn't been able to catch up in quite some time, we decided to catch up at a local pub called the Lord Raglan, which was very nice. Yeah, ended up having some wonderful food, had a very nice catch up, long overdue. So thanks to Laura and Ed for uh, making sure that we set that up together. But to then obviously catch up with them at their wedding on Saturday. I think one of the themes of this is we have had some really great food. So the stereotype of the English having horrible food, not true, guys. Lots of recommendations. Do not knock England until you've tried it. <laughs> and then on Wednesday, it was my niece's second birthday. So we went over to my brother and his partner's place and we went and celebrated and brought in her second birthday in style. Happy birthday again, Sophie. Happy birthday, Sophie. We hope you enjoyed the cake and thanks for giving us an excuse to drink some champagne. We always love that. <laughs> There's been a lot more downtime while we've been with Nick's family, which I think is something we really needed. Definitely. And his family also lives in a beautiful part of the country. So we've been taking some really nice long walks to different nature reserves and on different trails and through forests and paths. And there's also two amazing coffee shops in the little town in which Nick lives. And one of them is called You Bakery. And that's new to us because it wasn't here the last time we were in England. And so we went and tried a flat white and cortado there. Yep. And they were excellent. And actually, a few doors down from that is a haunt of ours that we've been several times. It's called The Hive. And they also have amazing coffee. And they kind of have some board games tucked in a back room. So it's actually a nice place to go and have some coffee. Also, actually, they're licensed. So they also sell craft beer and they have some wines and stuff so you can go morning or night and spend some time with family or friends there so we've kind of combined these long walks and then treated ourselves with a nice cup of coffee sounds horrible <laughs> ah why was us and then rolled around to the weekend which was then the big day so that was laura and ed's wedding <laughs> Just a lovely day. So it was at another beautiful manor house. Turns out there's a lot of those around this area. Mm -hmm. Who knew? And just with the way that it was all set up, the theming of it, because it was kind of all movie and cinema going style, and all of the ways in which they kind of catered to every person with every taste and all of that kind of stuff was just so good. The food was great. It was so nice to catch up with a bunch of people from all the kind of amateur musicals that I did over the years when I was still in England. And yeah, all in all, it was just such a good time. Extremely happy that we were able to make it back. Really glad that Rachel was able to meet everybody as well, uh, which is also a real treat. I mean, I wouldn't have missed it for the world anyway, but I'm so glad that we were there for it. And, um, and so, Laura, Ed, thank you for letting us be part of your amazing special day. And congratulations, Laura and Ed, on your marriage and happy life ahead. Also hope you enjoy your honeymoon. Enjoy the Disney parks. Yesterday, Nick's aunt and uncle came from Oxford to visit us, and we had a lovely tea with them. His aunt is, coincidentally, also an amazing chef baker she's just very talented and she made a delicious carrot cake for us to enjoy so we had that some coffee and tea we had a really lovely chat and it was overall just a nice afternoon spent with family this is our last full day in england before we really start the rest of the adventure 
which is amazing. Uh, so this evening, we are catching up with one of my very long-time friends. We've known each other since we were about three years old and have kept in touch ever since, which has been fantastic. He has moved in to a place just outside London with his wife and their little dog, who I can't wait to get to meet. We're going over there this evening to catch up with them before we then catch our flight. So uh, yeah, can't wait to see them all and catch up. Um, and just have a lovely evening together. The great thing is because they also are a short drive from the airport, they very kindly offered to take us there as well. So we'll be spending the night with them and then in the morning we'll be heading to the airport to then begin with the next country. It's going to be very weird to keep saying that, but there we go. Dun, dun, dun. I know. <gasps> Incredible generosity. Wouldn't expect anything less. So thank you, Sai and Francesca. And then tomorrow morning we get off flight. Going forward, we're not really too sure what we're doing with our content. Obviously, we're going to be vlogging it all because we want to take you along with us on this journey and take you along for the ride. But we don't know how often we're going to post. So currently, we are very scheduled at once a week, every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern. However, that is going to change. I think we'll probably be uploading more regularly, probably two or three times a week, but we just don't know how much content we're gonna get and then when we're gonna be able to edit or how long it will take to edit the videos. Wi-Fi could be a problem in some of the places that we're going. So while we kind of find our footing and find our flow, then please bear with us. There will be more content than normal, but it will not be scheduled. So just keep your eyes peeled and turn your notifications on so that you know when we upload a video. Thanks again for tuning in. Always a pleasure to be informing you of what's going on, especially as we start out on this really, really exciting adventure. It's only just hitting me, I think. It still hasn't hit me. No, I think once we actually start boarding planes and buses and things like that. That's when it's going to really start sinking in, I think. Yeah. Nuts. <laughs> anyway, until the next time, take care. And keep smiling. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> okay. It's still wrong. What? It's still I know, I know. I'm just like thinking. Oh, wow. Compiling my thoughts. Whoa. <laughs> With that, then we're going to talk you through it. So, hang on. We're going to spend this video catching up. On the day we arrived in England, we actually had to know. <laughs> and in return, as a means of marking the occasion, as a means of marking, yeah. Um, <laughs> I need to stop doing that. It's I know, just, I'm I always get like... really itchy. Uh, <laughs> but, um, okay. Let's try that again. A few nights later. <laughs>